right now. I need a quickie. How much? What the hell are you talking about? Eh? Don't you have respect for women? Eh? You wanna do it right in front of my children? What children? Eh? Oh, look at them. Standing there. They are waiting for the money. So, they need to pay for their school fees. And to buy me football. Okay, Kate, now listen. If you allow me to go in there, I'll give your mom enough money to buy a car. Okay? And she's gonna drive you guys to school. Or don't you wanna ride and wave to your friends? That's good. Let me in, okay? Okay? on the go. I'm okay. I've never been disturbed in my life like this. He disappeared from me by the whiskers. I made a promise to my brother on his dying bed. And I know his spirit will definitely haunt me forever if I watch his only son and his empire go down the drain. Honey, you've got to stop lamenting over this issue and think of a way out. A way out? Hmm? You've been doing your best. And I advocate prayers. Prayers can change anything. Prayers again. Where haven't we gone to for prayers? I've been to virtually all the prayer house and spiritualists in the city. I've gone as far as to the Balams and the wood doctors. What came out of this? What came out of this? <sighs> Instead of the boy coming back to his senses, he rather grows wilder. I see my brother's son and the future of our lineage disintegrating each and every passing day. I see the empire that will live but so hard to build, falling into the hands of our enemies. Honey, why are you sounding as if there are no more children left in the family? Huh? At least when your daughters graduate and return from the States, they will start running the business. No, honey. No. No matter how a girl is attached to a family, 
she will one day leave to her husband's house. In the world as global as it is today, an Enzima girl from Western Ghana will marry a Tamil in far away Sri Lanka. But a man will still remain with the family, no matter what. That is why I sometimes wish. <laughs> Life has never been the same in this house again. Mm. I refuse to admit it to him, but how I really wish I had a son for him. I mean, even if he has a son somewhere else, I will not be bothered. All I want is his happiness. I want to see him happy. My sister, I understand your pains. I mean, I know you have not been traveling to Dubai and China for some time now. I know it's because of your state of mind. If I may suggest, why don't you ad advise him to adopt a male child if he needed one this much? Suggesting that alone would make you his worst enemy. I mean, Sam believes and loves that boy even more than himself. He will go any distance, an extra mile, just to find solution for his problems. He really loves that boy to a fault. Anyway, would you be attending Carol's science naming ceremony on Saturday? I'll try. You know how he is now. I'll talk to him and see if I, I, I can come. I'll try. You should see his son. He's the carbon copy of his father. I've got to stay here for a while. I've got to maintain it low. Koforidua is known for its flowers. But the real flowers, I was told, are not the ones that rise with the sun. But nice, cute babies. They also have the beaches, which is good. I pray they have my usual takeaway at night.
This is it, right? Yeah. Good. Um, Alright, so open one of the doors, let's check it. This is the lowest I have. If you want anything lower than this, then try to look at. But um, I think I'll manage with this. But there's another thing I want to know. What is it? Can I have some girls to fuck around here? <laughs> 21, 59 is their time. Come with me. This is it, man. This is it. Yeah. Don't bend them. Some of them can be real. Ready? Woo! 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 Wow! 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 I am the Empire, the Prince without a kingdom. Now you'd better lay your naked ass down here. Let me fuck you this night. Please, 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 let me go, please. I've already given you the, the, the money. I, I, I beg you in the name of God. Please. <laughs> God? Huh? And you're here selling your body for 30 Ghana cities? And you're here talking of God? What do you mean, God? You just. God? Fuck no, guys. My tenant woke me at dawn, complaining that they couldn't sleep last night. That we were fighting with a lady and was running in and around the house. One said that he saw you through the window having sex with the lady on the ground in the compound in the middle of the night. I say cries for help. Even though I made you a friend and took you there. But this is certainly out of the way. I do visit them, but I always respect myself. Listen up, sir. I'm very sorry, okay? But you see the girl was trying to play stubborn and I had to proof to her that I am the mad dog. But I promise you, it will never happen again. It better be. This is where I make my living. And I will not hesitate to kick you out if you don't keep your head cool and live peacefully with others so that one day you will make money and build your own. That should be your focus. 
<laughs> well, yeah, I pray someday that I'll make money and build my own house. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, sir, okay? Listen, <clears throat> but I must confess, last night's show was something awesome. I mean, the girl was tight and she smelled. Mm, 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 mom, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They are part of the flowers, boy. Are you serious, yeah? <laughs> Come on, man. I told you. I told you the man. <laughs> Listen, don't worry, okay? Whatever happened, forget the bullshit. We're together, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, smoke drink, smoke drink, smoke drink. Ah. <laughs> Shh. Oh, my God. Four days without a game is like hell. Come on, why this godforsaken political rally in Accra? Why have all the hustlers gone there to hustle? Today will be a feed day for all the stinking homes, like that ass over there. Kutch, I know this ass, man. She is an ordinary whore and was playing big at the club. I'm going to give it to her today. I'm not picking her even if she is the only whore remaining in Kufta. Man, there are no more whores remaining in this town, man. I'm going to hurry it up and pick that ass before someone else does. How much for the night? 500 Ghana cities. 500 what? Am I paying for a night of a whole year? Some things are not that cheap. Listen, I gave you 40 Ghana cities. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll take 10 cities. 10 cities? Are you sick? No wonder you are just standing all alone. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll take the insult. Let's go. Hey, 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 hey. Not so fast. Not so fast. Mm. Under what condition? I want to examine your component. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby! You are intact! <laughs> I was wrong about you. So on a very serious note, tell me, how much are you collecting for this night? Any amount you're willing to pay. I give you 700 Ghana cities. No problem. Let's go. Ready? So we're on coast. Yeah. Are you talking, baby? <laughs> Listen, my business with actors begins and ends with one systematic way. Sex! So what is nonsense about? There's nonsense about press! You are a commercial sex worker for crying out loud. And your job is to dig it out with me and get lost! I'll give it to you whichever way you want it. But you have to commit everything into the hands of the Almighty. What? Jeez. Okay. What? What do you think you are? And what do you think you are doing? Oh. Okay. Now I get the picture. I get the whole picture. You want to paint out a sinner in an angelic cloth, right? Listen to me. Listen, I don't have time for all this nonsense you got to read. The only thing I have time for right now is to take off this thinking bag, lie on this bed, and let's get going now! I 
paid you well above your asking price. So what's this nonsense and conditions you are giving me all about? Get on this freaking bed and let's go ahead and do this shit fast! Now! Collect money from men, frustrate them, and run away with their money, right? But let me tell you, I got news for you. You cannot do that to the mad dog. You can't! If you touch me, I will scream and the neighbors will gather and I'll tell them what I saw in that box! What box? The one buried in your bedroom. What? How and when did you see it? I mean, you buried an hour in this house. And I was with you all through. So how? Shh! Damn. Listen, I always knew there was something mysterious about you. But on this one... Alright. You know what? Take the money and leave. In fact, I would add 300, making it a thousand, so you can take it and leave this place now. That's what you do when you wake up in the morning. You take food, drink water, before brushing. Good. Then I will die, and you people will take over my properties, right? Right! After you've done that, you come over for your breakfast. It's already served. Take it. You know what? Let me not wait for you. Your breakfast is already served. I'll be waiting. This is ridiculous.
I have confronted the devil right at the gate of hell and conquer him. And we never done with this daughter of Jezebel. Where I die slowly and she walks away with everything. No. I don't care about the consequences. I'm still the mad dog. And we'll do something very drastic right now. Right now. I prefer the bullet piercing through my skull than dying according to your plans. I always know you are evil. Right from the day I met you at the club. Shut the hell up. I have no plans of killing you. So eat your food and let me read the new rules in this house for you. What rules? Now the new rules in this house and in your life. No more smoking and drinking. No more sex and clubbing. This house is now a rehab, and all the rules are not meant to be broken. What? You are completely insane! This is my house, and I make the rules. Now listen to me. What on earth do you want from me? It's the money I had made you the offer. It's in my life. Take it so you can please yourself. What else do you want from me? Every second spent with you in this house is like hell! Do whatever you want to do with me. Take my life and leave me alone. Just go! Get out! Good. Very good. I can see you're very obstinate. Do you want to call the landlord? Maybe both of you would love to explain to the police what happened to your Thompson's housemate last Thursday. Do you want that? Say no more. I know you have my entire life in your heart. Forgive me for all I've done. I prefer to die from your prison than die in jail. Please. Feed me. Jock me. Do whatever you want to do to me. I can't let Just do it. Go on! Secretary, cancel anything and everything, and don't you ever give this number to anybody, huh? Nobody under no circumstance should know my whereabouts. Is that clear? I don't want to talk about any business, even if it's worth a billion dollars. It's an order, huh? Adhere strictly to it. Oh, all right. Take care. I have to take this break and think about life and everything. What is even the essence of making money and where the heir to the world is nowhere to be found? I 
this is certainly a bad sign. Oh my god. Hello? Honey, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? How is the conference going? Honey, let me tell you the truth. I didn't attend any conference. I'm on a self retreat somewhere in the countryside. I want to know the direction to take on the issue of a successor to our vast expanding empire. But large mirages fell from my hand. And I must tell you that a situation is taking place in our lineage. I'm praying. I'm praying that it's not an ugly one. But have you been in touch with Barry? I just called him. He was the first person I called. But as usual, his phone is off. Look, honey, um, Jesse's calling from America. Um, let me call you right back, okay? Hello, Jesse. information about me. You have used it so far to your advantage. And I've made my vow never to divulge information to anyone, even at the point of death. Well, if that's what you're looking for, then you're wasting your time. Because if I die, I've instructed someone to carry my last wish. I've taken care of that, knowing that I'm surrounded by enemies. Barry, love brought me to you. I know your story. I want to help you. With the way you acted, even the devil you represent can't trust you. Complete your job. Take my life. Just make sure you place my body to where at least those loyal vultures can have feast on. God. Please, don't say that. I mean what I'm saying. Spare me that, pretty demon. I'll never die. One thing I kept regretting was ever meeting you.
it's okay. Yes, they're okay. But she sent a parcel. And she asked me to open it only when I'm with you. I'm on my way home now. Look here, Sam. Please leave whatever you are doing and return home now. Uh, that is ridiculous. How could they send whatever parcel it is and demand that I should be there? Listen, honey. I'm not returning back till I get the answers that I'm looking for. No. Please, come home now, please. They want us to do this immediately. I don't know what it is and why they want us to do it together. Please come home. Nonsense. Nothing, absolutely nothing, will make me go back to the city until I get the answers that I'm looking for. man gave it to me and said I should give it to you urgently. He said somebody told him a man ran some in your house and that you should act quickly. Ah, 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 he's buried. He must be in danger. No wonder his phone has been off for this. The note is what the kid number was from him. Stay calm, stay cool, and make sure you don't disturb the neighbors. Don't tell me you are an amateur. Do you think you can lock a man in this place and expect to find him when you return? Don't worry. The tea you took will do the guard for me. In a few minutes, you'll be sleeping like a little baby. When I sat down the step, I was talking of your snoring. There's no trace of anybody in the room. We have to rush him to the hospital now. Mm. 
to his rifle. What? Officer. That guy, I believe, is a deadly criminal. She jumped out of the car as we were climbing the Mabira for a sale. Your colleagues chased her into the bush. I waited for minutes without them coming. And I called your station again. They arrived immediately and I left. You are under the custody of the police. Officer. She told me when I'm going to wake up, and here I am. Listen, I want to go home. I want to stay with her and see what she's up to. Perry, you are staying under the protection of the police. Somebody brought a letter indicating her plans to ruin you and take over what they say matters a lot to you. And that was what led to your rescue and her current person. Listen, I just told you guys I want to leave this place right now. As a matter of fact, If not for what you represent, I would have left you to your fate. Where do we go from here? I'm returning to him. You must be out of your mind. That is what the game is for in the first place. Lose your mind and get the result. What I'm still puzzled at is how I'm still able to complement things with what I felt for him in the first place and with all the details. The game must change now. I need time to re-strategize. And in the meantime, we are staying here. I don't understand. You will. I had to return as I got more confused than answers. The federal government has paid the debt they are owing his father, totaling $3.6 million. My Chinese partners has finally agreed to pay me my commission of $1.8 million. And we kept getting richer and richer every day. But the family heir is nowhere to be found. 
I feel your pain more than you do. I mean, how in this world could our daughters get married to two Vietnamese men in one day and all we get is pictures by a male? Now, where's part is it happened in the Buddhist temple? Buddhist temple? When that mirror fell down, I knew it was a bad omen. <laughs> when he told me of that parcel, I wasn't expecting anything good either. Look at my beautiful daughters. Look at my beautiful daughters. Looking like masquerades in the Sata. <laughs> what have I done to deserve all this? <laughs> we had of you now make it even difficult to let you out of our sight for even a second. What information? Barry, you did not tell me, but now we know that you are the only son of one of Ghana's richest men, the late Dr. Chambers and his brother Sam, your uncle, and how much you are worth. Any idiot will do everything to have his share of the wealth. And we cannot allow that to happen. Barry, your uncle reported your disappearance to the police long ago. I will gladly inform him that we finally found you. Please, officer, please, I beg you, don't do that, all right? You see, some things are not the way they appear. Right? I enjoyed the way I live my life now. What exactly do you want us to do? I need Flozzy. You will not understand. I need her back immediately. If you really want me to live, and you really care for me and my family, If you really want to protect me as you claim, please allow me to see Frozzy. This is insane, Barry. This is a guy who wants to destroy you. Are you sure you are still okay upstairs? Listen, she knows much more than you do. She told me something I never imagined while leaving this house. Before you do not ask yourself this question. Can someone look romantically into the eyes of someone she wants to kill? And also ask yourself, what kind of uncle would be willing to give his late father's assets as well as his to a wayward son and have a sleepless night wanting to do it? I 
a dose of while pondering over the statement. An uncle can never love me more than my father. Even when my father was alive, he was he was at the center of my life. And then he bought me my first car. I kept I kept wondering why he loves me so much. You know? So I I confronted him after my father's death. And after surviving three attempts on my life. Uncle, I don't know how you'll feel if I tell you this. And what is it? Just go on. Words can never make the ear bleed. I have survived three attempts on my life. And on each occasion, you always come to rescue me. I'm a student of psychology. And I've been having dreams and making research on the kind of love you have for me and it's incomprehensible. I don't understand where you are driving to. I just don't understand. Uncle, I believe you want to kill me. What? But you are playing the game to kill any suspicion. You see, I told you to flee away from me smoking. You see? Huh? Now this is the result. This is the result. You know what? Go to bed now. Tomorrow when you are all right, we can talk. Okay? Just go to bed. Go. Go. For days, he stayed away from the issue. And I began to fear for my life. I talked to girls and drugs, and they could part of the issue. Then I had to run down here to find a direction for my life. And then I found her. Please! You are under arrest. Arrest me, officer. As long as I can be with him. I came back to finish. When I started. Officer. No sin criminal will return to the sin after committing the crime. She knows a lot. But I don't know. She just might be the one to unveil the mystery behind my life. I was one of the best at Please Academy and was hired to trail all his movements by his uncle. The other was irresistible and I dropped out of school and employed my friend Jojo. As I got to know more about him and what he represents, I dropped the plans I had with the uncle and decided to help him as I began to love him for real. Officer, his uncle noticed a shift in plan and threatened to deal with me on this recorded phone conversation. Look, Fluxy, I know you are with him. If you don't give me the desired result within the next 48 hours, I shall show the police commissioner the contract we had and why you left the academy with one of their most sophisticated material. And then I shall send you to where you never imagined 
in your life. He kept to his threats. He was the one who sent the letter the agent acted upon. I also met one of the officers he had bribed to kill me. Jesus. Life. Where do we go from here? We need to pick him up. He has a lot to explain. <laughs> What? You moron! Speed! You know every journey has its own type of carrier! Speed up you idiot! Speed up you idiot! Madam, I have explained everything to you. Now tell me what you know. Are you part in this? Hello? Yes, stand and clear. Okay, first step on the command fast. I'm part of police force. Ready all the police checkpoints. Yeah, you must not be allowed to escape. Okay. Now please, I'll be back.
it was what I feel for you left to that fundamental reply. I don't know what he aims to achieve, but when I saw you, I saw love, and everything changed. Things you saw in that box that day was the master plan. And Mr. Kojo's made was an experiment. Thank God it didn't work. when the police allow me to talk to you. Barry, I want you to know that my husband may be anything I do not know, but certainly not a murderer. You don't know him. I do. So also the police. Listen, he told me how he feels about you. He told me how he wants you to carry on with the family business and lineage. He also told me how much he loves and cares for you. I married him same year your father married your mother. And that's about 30 years ago. I know this man very well. And I know when he's lying and when he's speaking the truth. Your uncle will not do anything to hurt you, less killing you. That's, I can assure you, is the truth. So why is he running away with that? I was not running away from the police, but to be the assassins who have shown the capability to eliminate him in the next 24 hours. If I don't be what they are demanding for, nobody will believe you. You are going to rot in jail. I beg you, police officer, call a crowd. Call a crowd right now. Tell them to stop Jojo from killing Barry. She used to work with Flossie. She knows nothing about it. 
Officer, my son's life is in danger. If they cannot stop me, and I prefer to pay the ten million dollars they are demanding for, I beg of you, please, I beg of you, call them right now, please, do that for me, please.
Maybe I would have to come and see them in Egypt. Yeah, then all of us would have to agree on the next step to take. Okay? That is very much okay, right? Yeah. Seriously. Look, you come from a country where the sun shines all year through. And as a shining star as you are, you would definitely add so much sparkle to our already beautiful family. You know? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. absolutely. In fact, we are looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I really, really like the bond between the two. And I wouldn't mind, you know, marrying and living here at all, if not for anything, at least just to laugh over <laughs> your poetic <laughs> lies and rhymes, you know. The yes. lyrical oh, yes. maestro. That is me. <laughs> I am the lyrical maestro. You know, but there's more yet to come. The lyrics are yet to come. You know, I'm living in Stay, but you are serious. I love that. Anyway, don't you care for She kept the relationship going via phone call. One day she called that her family wants to see her suitor. My brother fell sick on the eve of his departure. So. An emergency arrangement was made. So as not to disappoint them, I traveled to represent him. The family loved me and my rhymes, but they were disappointed when they realized that I was standing in for my brother. They wished I was their son-in-law. Farida wished the same too, at least she made me realize later in my hotel room. mother and an Egyptian father, a true African beauty and intellect, a woman I loved the very first day I saw her, a woman I must accept that I can never have. She later married my brother and while she was pregnant, she told me that Barry is the product of that one night stand. A test was later made in Nigeria and it was confirmed to be true. I begin to love him right from his birth. The love increased when I had only daughters from Ruth. When his mother died, and my brother, on that unfaithful day. And you have to do everything to make him a great man. 
and they don't want him to grow like any ordinary man. I kept making silly mistakes, willing to protect him. Instead of bringing him close to me, he kept coming away. And at that point, at that point, I became desperate. That was when he hired me. He told me to bring Barry to him at all costs. I began to suspect him, thinking that he wants to kill Barry. I began to love Barry more, to a high Jojo, and I started holding my feelings for Barry. Jojo, you know we are the enemy of the media and the police academy. You know the bond between us. Can we pull this? Come on, Floxy. I wouldn't be here if we couldn't. We surely can. What tact should we use? The kangaroo. Yes. The kangaroo. <laughs> wow. Let's say cheers. If this is what it's all about, then we wouldn't have come this far. Because the amount involved is life changing. It's, it's it could last me a lifetime. Floxy, I want you to know that I can never ever, never ever betray you. I swear with my life. I swear with my honor. I swear with everything that I've got. I can never betray you. Believe me. Jojo. I believe you. I thought he was with me. Not slowly. He had his own plans. I will first thank the police and plead to everyone, especially to my lovely wife and to my family <laughs> son, for forgiveness. I should be blaming no one for this. 
Please forgive me. Please.